What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. Ooh, baby child, I'm back, and I have a good video for y'all today. But guess what? I can only show y'all about half of it, and that's due to the new rules on YouTube. But y'all know me. I'm going to find a way to lead y'all to the messiness. I am going to post one link one huge messy link that's gonna lead you to the story from the jasmine brand about holly robinson pete a legend that mr you know who called her the n-word on the celebrity apprentice and the original aunt viv explaining that she left the fresh prince of bel-air because her husband was tossing her around a lot at the time also i will include in the link a story from the neighborhood talk about this lady this crazy lady that sent her boyfriend of three months to the upper room after she had been stalking him mm -hmm. also from the neighborhood talk i will include in my link the story about gucci man mocking jesus friend that he sent to the upper room in self-defense now if y'all ain't familiar with this this story is about as crazy as it gets long story short jesus sent somebody back in the day to get at gucci and gucci did what he had to do to defend himself but that's supposed to be in a versus battle coming up soon and all gucci has been doing lately is throwing digs at the friend that he sent to the upper room so y'all can just about guess how that versus is gonna turn out Ooh, child, they better do that versus battle from a Zoom meeting. They better do that versus battle from across the street. They better do that versus battle from the comfort of their own homes, respectfully. Because I know if these two get in a room together, trying to call themselves doing a versus battle with all the bad blood, literally, that they have behind them, I don't see that working. I don't think now now song gonna be played before Gucci starts going in on Jesus. Now, neither one of these dudes ain't no lightweights in the street, so we just gonna see how they go. Okay, okay. I will also include in the link a story from the shade room, Tory Lane's lawyer basically saying that he's upset that Meg Thee Stallion told that she tried to bribe him in her interview with GQ. Mm -mm. Now y'all see why I couldn't make a video about these topics, okay? But like I said, I will include all of these topics in one big link down in the description box. You just click on it and it'll take you right to the business. Now on to our regularly scheduled video. All right, baby child, I was on Twitter, minding my business being nosy, when I come across a post that Billboard had tweeted and it says, Cardi B will receive the Woman of the Year honor at this year's BB Women in Music Ceremony. This award goes to an act whose music performances cultural influence and activism define the year and that was none other than cardi b winning woman of the year okay so as you can guess a lot of people were very unhappy about this situation and i'm gonna read y'all a few of the responses one person says so you awarded it to the woman who sent men to hurt black women and is currently dealing with the legal battle of that now, what she's referencing is the girl that Offset was messing with and Cardi B allegedly sent some of her pals to the club that they was working in and they laid hands on them and now she's in an ongoing court battle because allegedly Nicki Minaj paid their lawyer fees but y'all ain't heard that from him okay and she goes on to say meanwhile Megan is out here a whole survivor advocate and paying for black women's tuitions what question mark question mark question mark so basically she's saying why are y'all nominating Cardi B when she has all this negativity surrounding her and Megan is doing such big things now the next person says she didn't do anything this year no performances or anything just dropped one song why is billboard like this and then the comments go on so basically twerking and going uh with no clothes on defines womankind what womankind womankind anyway and yet there's a lot of debate about women being treated as objects how does this things mutually exist though and then another person says, wow, if this is the woman of the year, we are in huge trouble. Mm -mm, messy, 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 messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I like it. 
But to be honest, yes, these responses were a little bit messy. But the really, really messy responses were under the post of the Neighborhood Talk. Now, they posted the exact same thing to their blog. And, of course, everybody went in on Cardi B up under the post. Child, it got so bad that I can't even read these. <laughs> I can't even read the responses out to y'all on YouTube. Like I said, the new rules. But guess what? Y'all know me. I'm going to find a way to get the messiness to you. I'm going to add the post of everybody going in on Cardi B for getting Woman of the Year on the blog, the Neighborhood Talk. Now, y'all know Cardi, and Cardi wouldn't be Cardi if she didn't give y'all a clap back about what's going on right now. She went on her Instagram and posted a video to let everybody know just how she was feeling about receiving Billboard's Women of the Year. Take a look. Hey y'all, it's your girl Cardi B, and yes, I am a woman of the year. And for you, Cardi B, it's like, but she only got one song. Yeah, I got that song, baby. You know, um, the one that sold the most, the one that streamed the most, the one that had crying on news about it, um, the one that have a song that's about to be six time platinum in three months, the one that had your grandma popping her on TikTok. Yeah, baby that one and on top of that but like for over a year you know what i'm saying i've been influencing using my platform for y'all to vote i just went joe was going against Trump. i've been informing y'all about your senators i've been informing y'all about district midterm elections uh using my money my own money to meet up with these candidates like burning flying out tired after shows yeah that's me bitch. even when y'all was crying like but you don't represent us yes i do i represent america okay and I wanted to change. And that's exactly what the fuck I did. And um, eat it up. I'm just that bitch. Eat it up with a spoon so I can get a mouthful. Mm-mm, child. Let me clutch my pearls and get on my face. Oh, well, anyways, baby child. Princess Love and Ray J want us to know that they trying to make things work after she filed for a divorce for the 5th 11th time. Moving on. And Tory Lanez is still being pickified. On the same day that he went to court and pled not guilty with that little situation, dealing with Meg the Stallion. Mm-mm, child, y'all know what they say about picking. Picking is catching, so he better sit his pickified self down somewhere, okay? But anyway, baby child, y'all know what mine's my business, and I'm gonna do just that. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about these situations down in the comments. How y'all feel about Cardi B getting billboards, women of the year? Go ahead and like my comments, up, because I know y'all is. How y'all feel about about Princess Love and Ray J trying to work things out after he done cheated on her time at the time at the time at the time. And how y'all feel about little shortstop Tory Lanez instead of being pickified instead of just chilling and laying low until things get sorted out. And baby child, don't forget, like I said, to check the messy link down in the description box. I will be reposting stuff to that link all in one big post that I'm showing you right now on the screen. I got an email from YouTube today that basically said, we ain't playing with y'all no more. Say something that you ain't got no business saying, and you gonna be out of here faster than your mama keep you out of the house that one time in high school. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Moving on. Well, I'm definitely gonna need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent, I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.